All right, we're going to do the poor man's sloppy three-step or a two-step rev limit offset. So first thing we're going to want to do is disable rev limiter one, and then we're going to do everything in an advanced table. And it's just real simple. So you go and make a 2D table. This one I've got labeled boost builder three step. Make sure you enable it. Table type is timing offset. X axis is RPM. Y axis is boost PSI. And then I've got it enabled for my transbrake slash launch button. And this is all I'm doing. So I've got boost right here. And then I've also got RPM. And you can adjust this for whatever target RPM you're trying to dial in. And so essentially when I'm not making boost, an RPM is going to jump up to about 3,900 RPM. And as I start building, it's going to start building and pulling timing. And then it's going to hit this wall right here. And it's going to drop down to about 3,000 RPM. And it's just going to stick here. And then in my boost tab right here, when I press that trans brake launch input, I'm commanding 6 pounds on the dome. So between the 6 pounds on the dome... And this table is going to sit me right about here. I'm just going to be sitting at 3,000 RPM. So again, RPM is going to come up. I'm going to start building boost. I'm going to hit a wall. It's going to drop it down. Build boost quick and hit target. And that's really all there is to it. So we'll cut to a video of it in the car and actually testing it out and just showing the proof of concept. But you guys can mess with this in all kinds of ways. Build more boost, pull more timing. You could have higher RPM, lower RPM, bigger band in between the offset, all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. 